Father Provincial Anthony Joseph, <coughs> Father Ignace Soran, Father Severetnam and my dear conference, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to thank Father Boss for giving me this opportunity to be <coughs> my celebrant and share my reflection on the theme. The relevance and the challenges of religious life today. You already set the tone by way of introduction as to how there are certain struggles in religious life. And therefore, the question is the religious life relevant? Or how are we responding to the challenges that we are we are we, we are being facing? I thought I would uh, reflect upon today's gospel that would uh, show us some sort of direction, some sort of an idea as to where we stand with regard to our religious life or what we are called to do. He says, after these he appointed 70 others or 72 others to go to various places and he says the harvest is plentiful. After this means, there were several people coming to him. Just the text that you know, precedes this is that one fellow came and asked him, Wherever you go, I am going to follow you. And he says, The foxes have hopes. <coughs> Son of man has no way to lay, you know it. The second person says, The Lord calls him, he says, No, I have to go home and bury my father. The third one says, no, I have to say goodbye to the family. After this, he chose 72 or 70 others and sends them two by two. For me, the intriguing questions are about this text is that he says the harvest is plentiful. As long as the harvest is plentiful, our life and existence will be relevant because there is something that we need to do. But the laborers are few. If the laborers are few, he should have sent them one by one so that he could have covered a larger territory. Why he made this choice or this decision? Secondly, the whole narration, if you start from 1 to 9 of uh, the Gospel text today, again, for the red little extra, you will all find the whole description is about what you should do, what you should take, what you should not take, whom you should greet, when you should greet, all these things. Nothing about proclamation or very little about proclamation. What are they to do? What is actually the content of their proclamation? The kingdom of God is at hand. Say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand. That's all. And for that such a big build up around. Don't take tunic, don't take this, and uh, you know, all sorts of minute details. What is he intending actually by giving this kind of a, a description? I just want to emphasize on one, one point as to how we become the reign of God at hand. That's uh, the point that I would like to share with you. Few years ago, there was a survey in Bangalore. The survey was conducted on religious. A lot of questions were asked. One of them is, are you happy in religious life? But quite positive response. Not a great response, but good majority that they are happy. And then they were also asked, what do you think about others? Do you think the other religious are happy? Not a very good response. Good number of them thought the other religious are not that very happy in life. Okay. And then a lot of things. Would you, you know, recommend your own relatives, someone who is close to you, for religious life? What do you think would be the answer? Yeah, very dismal, very discouraging. Good number of them said no. I could not. That itself is an indicator. Now. That's not the end of it. One of the last questions, what do you think is a challenge or a problem in religious life? You know, good number of them pointed out community life. Community life. Community life has come to be the epitome.
is a trigger of religious life or problems in religious life or the challenges in religious life. What is gaining community life? That's one thing that we need to ask this question. When the Lord sent 72 or 70 others in two by two, he has a definite plan. He has a definite strategy that it is if they are living out, it is if the way they are able to coordinate and cooperate one another and witness a life together that they are going to proclaim that the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God, it is in the midst of us. In the way we live, look at them, how they live as brothers. It is in that, the people are going to recognize now, there is a kingdom of God. That's why they have to proclaim, the kingdom of God is at hand. It is in them, it has come upon you, it has come closer to you, than it is for you to experience the kingdom of God. Look at us, how we experience, that's the thing. Now, sending two by two can mean a lot of things. These two is a very delicate number. Two can mean a lot of things in the sense of antinomies. These two, one can be short, other one can be longer. One can be very cool, other can be very short tempered. One can be very fast in whatever he does, other one can be very slow. One can be very sociable and outgoing, other can be very reserved and very, you know, introvert. It can happen. And it is in these kind of situations we are called to witness to the kingdom of God. Mind you, religious life began as a kind of a withdrawal from the activities of this world to live out a life that is more secluded, a life that is more prayerful or contemplative. And therefore, our religious life primarily, not so much to do with the Adi extra, but more of Adi intra. It is in Adi intra, we have our foundation, and that would impel us and empower us to venture into Adi extra activities. And therefore, coming back to the question of community living, the Lord appointed them. Perhaps, if the disciples were told to choose their companions, say, choose your own companions who would be compatible to you and then go where you want to go. He did not give them that choice. He appointed them two by two and he then sent them wherever he intended to go. I am just uh, captivated by this image. See the disciples, they are not to be all musicians but they are depicted as musicians playing different <coughs> instruments, trying to produce melodious music under the leadership of Jesus. See? My community members need not be the persons whom I prefer. If they were given a choice, it is said they would not choose someone from this group. They may be intending to choose somebody from outside as their companion. Why? They had their own difficulties. You know they have been fighting among themselves. They had their own internal squabbles. We all know. And still the Lord sends them 